And the file management today, we're going to go over just so we have a little bit more understanding because we're working on some different files. And we need to understand how to work with those files, how to organize them, and so forth. You guys have your Sky Drive. You guys may also have a flash drive. We want to try to keep those organized so we can find the files that we need to. Um, and now I think is the time because we have some files that we can work with. So let's start by going to my computer. And in my computer, we're going to go to my documents. Now, if you don't have this sidebar, you just go to view, toolbars, uh, the explorer bar. Does everyone have this sidebar? OK. Just go to My Documents. And inside of My Documents, you can see that there's also uh, Word documents in there. There's also Excel documents. And we can change the view by selecting this little View button here and change it to Details. This is the best view that I recommend you change your view to whenever you're looking at files. Now, if you notice, these files have an extension on them. So addresses.doc addresses.xlsx so those extensions associate that file with an actual program so this addresses.docx is associated with what program Microsoft Word yep and then this file is associated with what program Excel so we want some of our computers don't show the three letter or the four letter extension, the file extension. We change that by going up to Tools, Folder Options, and we go to the View tab, and down at the bottom, you can see where you can check the hide extensions for known file types. Now, watch what happens when I hit Apply. Watch these files. You see how they disappear? So all we get to see is an icon that represents a program and then the name of the file. So you want to make sure that you uncheck this hide extensions for known file types. And now we get our extensions back. That way you can, you can actually physically see the file and the extension, therefore, associating it with a program. So does everyone have a few files in their My Documents on their computer? Just a couple files. Okay, good. What we're going to do is we're going to try to organize these files. So we're going to create a folder in here called Excel. And we're going to move all the Excel files into that folder. So we can create a folder. If we look up here in the address bar, it shows us where we currently are. We're currently in My Documents. And these are the files and folders that are inside of My Documents. Now, the concept of files and folders in um, Microsoft Windows and this graphical user interface is this concept right here. We have a hard drive, which is this drawer, and inside we have a folder. This is my documents folder. Inside of my documents folder, we have documents. See the documents in here? So each document in here is a file. This is an actual file. So I can pull out a file. So this is a file. This is a Word document. So that's the concept that we're working with here. We have folders that organize files. And this folder is called Mr. Bradley. So now we can see that that's where Mr. Bradley goes in there and then we keep things organized. That's the concept we're working with. So we're going to create a new folder by going File, New, and select Folder. And we're going to call this Excel because this is where we're going to put all of the Excel spreadsheet files. Now how do we get all the, the, the Excel spreadsheet files? One quick way is to select the Type column. 
If you select the type column, it's now going to organize all of your files by type. That is a spreadsheet file. This is an Excel worksheet file, Excel worksheet, Excel worksheet, Excel worksheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the Excel worksheets by clicking the first one, so it's highlighted, and then hold the, did you? Yeah, I missed part of some type. Okay. We hit the type, see this? Okay, that's what Yeah, you hit type and it, and it sorts it by type. Okay, so then we're going to select the first file, and then we're going to hold the shift key down, and then select the last file in the list. That way we, can, we have them all in order, where all the Excel files are in one spot. Now we're going to do a couple things. I'm going to show you the drag and drop feature, and then I'm going to show you the cut and paste feature, all using the right mouse button. So now I'm going to just watch first, and then you can try this. I'm going to right click on what I've highlighted and I'm going to drag it using my right mouse button is still being held down. I'm going to drag it and drop it on the Excel folder. Wait until it gets highlighted. See how it's not highlighted yet? Now the Excel folder is highlighted. I'm going to let go and I'm going to choose an option out of this menu. I want to move them here, not copy. Copy is going to make a duplicate copy inside of that folder. I want to move them. So now they get moved out of my documents and put into another folder called Excel. We open that up, and there are the four files. So you guys give yours a try. So now we're going to create a Word folder, and I'm going to right-click in a blank spot. Now look where I'm right-clicking. I'm right-clicking in a blank spot and selecting New, and then selecting folder. That's the same as going up to the file menu and selecting file new. So it's the same thing as going here. And then we're going to name this word. And now we have all of these word documents. I'm going to select the first one, hold the shift key down, and then select the last one. And I'm going to drag these into the word folder. Let go of them. And now they get copied. I'm oh, sorry, moved into the Word folder. So this way we can keep our files organized. I recommend maybe for school that you create a folder for each class and keep your files organized per class. So then for this class, this would be called Office, right? So let's create a folder called Office. And now let's move the Excel folder and the Word folder into the Office folder. So we're going to right click on what we've highlighted and how did I how did I highlight both of those? And they're not in an order. Yeah, I hold the control key down. We use that in Word and in Excel. So holding the control key down, I can now select those two. I let go of the control key and I'm going to right click and drag them in let go and I'm going to select move here. So now I have in my documents folder I have a folder called office. I open that up and I have an Excel and a Word and I'm going to work on Excel files and now if I double click one of these files it'll actually open up Excel and I can start working with it and editing the file. Anybody have any questions about that? No? Okay. You can do the same thing on your SkyDrive. On your SkyDrive, you have a My Documents folder. You can create underneath there subfolders, and you can organize your files. So you can better find them, because next semester, you might come back and go, oh, I remember creating, writing a paper about that, or doing that in this class. It would save me a lot of time and work if I just copied what I did last semester and changed it a little bit to apply it to what I'm doing now. It's not going to be useful.